The next drill we want to do is what we call a touch and go drill. A touch and go drill simply means that we want to make sure our hips are closed. So when he lifts his front side this time, lifts his leg up, he wants to take it straight back down, touch the ground, and then go out towards home plate. So we'll watch how he does here. One of the main reasons this drill and one of the main things it does is it creates the hips staying closed. And you'll see how his hips stay closed here. Excellent. One of the most common problems pitchers have is when they land, and we'll land and the hips are open this time, Dave, okay? His hips are open, okay? That's a bad thing. That gets the arm farther away from the head, and it creates a situation where you're going to have a hard time throwing strikes, okay? Let's go back up and do the drill right now. Excellent. 